Emery, uh, how much pride do y'all take in this? And people talk about in the preseason, this offensive line is one of the best in America. I mean, y'all have all been there for a long time, except for obviously the center's new. But um, it looks like y'all can get a lot of accolades this year. Yes, sir. Uh, we take it. We take it. It's, it's, it means the world to us. You know, we to lead this team this year. And, you know, going into the year with everybody kind of with eyes on us, uh, it means a lot. And, you know, I feel like we're going to hold up to every expectation that there is. Uh, how different is it blocking for Garrett as it was for Jaden? Obviously, Garrett might stay in the pocket a little yeah. more. Uh, is it, is it, is, is it, how does it change with uh, Jaden and, and Garrett? Uh, I mean, not too much. I mean, Jaden usually will kind of run towards the end of the, of the pass, but uh, Nuss kind of just sit back there and kind of throw it a little more. So uh, you definitely have to hold your block a little longer, but I mean, it's none, none, no challenge that we can't handle. What have you seen from the running backs so far in camp? I know you guys might use the running game more yes, from the backs this year, uh, like Caleb Jackson and John Emery. Yes, sir. It's been explosive. Uh, those guys are running their tails off. You know, I feel like we got a healthy John Emery, a healthy and strong Caleb Williams. We got a Josh Williams that's doing amazing. Uh, we just got a little deep running back room. Uh, Caden, you know, like all those guys are just, oh, they all bought in. And, you know, I feel like they're all going for it. Uh, I feel like we're going to be real explosive in that room. Just the offense as a whole, um, you know, you lose the Heisman Trophy winner and a couple of first round draft picks, but it feels like the offense is confident you'd be just as good. Mm. You have that feeling? Or, uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Well, I feel like everybody's kind of bought in. You know, I feel like they brought the right pieces in back into the program so that we can uphold the expectations and standards that we had last year. And I feel like we're going to be able to, you know, attack that. Your teammates, we were kind of talking about Dellinger yesterday. Yeah. What's it been like to, been, to be his teammate so far? Uh, Dellie's a great guy. Uh, he's funny. You know, he's a guy who's going to kind of keep the energy and the, and the aura up in the room. Uh, he's a guy who's going to, he's a great leader uh, and a guy that's kind of can tell you, you know, whether you're right or wrong, no matter the situation or no matter who's in the situation. So, you know, we all look at him like a leader and he's a really good guy. He's the oldest guy in our room. He has the most snaps. So, you know, we all kind of look at him as that leader and a uh, guy who kind of knows the most out of all of us. And CJ coming from Liberty, how has his game translated so far in practice and with his offense? I mean, he's been explosive. It's been fun to watch. You know, you give him a ball, he's catching it, and he's, he's making a play after he catches the ball. So it's been fun and exciting to watch him and get to know him uh, as a person. Uh, yeah, growing to love him. What's the difference between the defensive line this year maybe compared to last year? Uh, I feel like they're all, as a whole, the defense as a whole to me ha are just fighting way more. You know, last year I feel like you were kind of like they'll play for three or four seconds and they'll kind of be over with. But I feel like Blake Baker has all those guys kind of bought in and they're all fighting for him. And I feel like they're doing a great job. Where did the nickname the Bomb Squad come from? Uh, it's been here since since I got here. You know, we just kind of, Going to keep passing it down, keep passing it along to every O-line that comes through. Meaning like you block your dropping bombs or what? Where's blowing, <laughs> blowing everything up. <laughs> That's pretty much what it means to us, blowing everything up. And, you know, Bomb Squad is kind of the special unit that kind of goes in and, you know, carry or they take on, you know, special tasks, uh, things that like police or, you know, SWAT teams and stuff like that couldn't do. So that's kind of how we, kind of how we think about it. Emory, you from here, and, and you've seen the high times for LSU. Um, have y'all talked about the importance of getting off to a fast start in this opener? I mean, y'all haven't won an opener since 2019 against uh, you know, Georgia Southern with Joe Burrow. Um, is it something that's been kind of y'all working toward this USC game? I know it's kind of further away, but, you know, it, it, it's definitely getting closer as we get. Right. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, we haven't won, you know, a home opener since I've been here, uh, since Coach Dave has been here. So that's kind of been a thing, you know, to go hard now so that when we get to that home opener, we're not surprised by anything. You know, we can start fast and, you know, keep the season according to plan. This little swing pass to Caleb Jackson looks like it could be a nice little bread and butter play for you guys. Talk, can you talk about him and his power and yeah, what are you I seeing mean, out of him this year? Yeah, I mean, we were scrimmaging the other day and y'all seen him, it was fourth and seven or something like that. He got a little pass and he took it right through the defense, defender and got the first down. So, I mean, that's kind of just the story of his game. You know, he's a power back, and I feel like he's comfortable and confident against anybody, you know, who's going, going against him. So, I feel like Caleb's going to be a great, great guy for this team, for this offense, and going to be very explosive and going to be fun to watch. Thank you, Emory. Yes, sir. Thank you all.